5.3b, Pythagorean Theorem, find missing side. First, we must name the sides of a right triangle. We name each of the sides that meet at the right angle as A and B. The third side is labeled as C. C is always the hypotenuse. It must always be the hypotenuse, otherwise the Pythagorean theorem or the formula we use, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, will not work if you do not have the hypotenuse as c. The way to identify which side is the hypotenuse is that it is always directly across from your right angle. In identifying where the right angle is and then finding the side across, labeling it C or hypotenuse, you will ensure to always use the formula correctly. When finding a leg with the Pythagorean theorem, you must first isolate and then you will take the square root. What you are isolating is either an a squared, the b squared, or the c squared. So you are isolating one of the variables. It is the variable that you do not know. Example one asks us to find the missing side. As stated above, it is always good to find which side is the hypotenuse at the beginning. Remember, the hypotenuse can be found by locating the right angle and then finding the side directly across and labeling it C. The other two sides are not important on whether they are A or B. We will therefore label the side seven yards as A and the side two yards as B. We now need to use the formula A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We will plug in each of these values into their locations in the formula. This means that A, or 7 yards, will go in the A spot and get squared. We then will add B, or 2 yards, and square it as well. This ends in finding C squared. We then need to find the values. 7 squared is 49. We add to this force 2 squared, which is 4. And finally, that equals c squared. When we add 49 and 4, we get 53 equals c squared. At this point, we have isolated the variable, meaning that the variable is on one side and the number is on the other. We now must take the square root of each side. When we take the square root of each side, the square root of c squared becomes c, and we type the square root of 53 into our calculator. We will round to the hundreds. So we get an answer of 7.28 yards. We will look at another example. Once again, we are asked to find the missing side. As always, we locate the right angle. We then locate the side directly across from it to identify which side is C. They have given us C in this equation, and so we will label it C. It does not matter whether we label the other two sides A or B, so we will label the blank one A and the other B. We can now use the formula A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We will now plug these values in. We do not know a, so it remains a squared. We do know the value for b, it is 4, so we will square it. And then this equals c squared, which is 8 squared. We calculate the values of each of these numbers. This results in a squared plus 16 equals 64. We now need to isolate the variable. So we subtract 16 from both sides. 
we now have a squared alone on one side of the equation. On the other side of the equation, we have 64 minus 16. 64 minus 16 is 48. We now have isolated the variable so we can take the square root of both sides. The square root of a squared is a. The square root of 48 is 6.93 if we are rounding to the hundredths. Remember to include your units or the centimeters. Remember in using the Pythagorean theorem to always locate the side C or the hypotenuse and that it is directly located across from the right angle. Then remember to find the leg that is missing. We use the Pythagorean theorem by first isolating the variable and then taking the square root.